guys, Night here, welcome to my channel. So I was even in deep hibernation mode in the Christmas and I went back to my roots with this awesome RPG Divinity 2 original scene. And it's, guys, I will show you now how to win every fight in this game. I'm playing tactical mode, so it's really, really difficult. So as you know, every major battle starts with a conversation with the boss or with the NPC. But what you can do, you can swap to another character of your party uh, so you can keep the keep the NPC engaged and you can customize your party and you can detach all your party members to freely walk around the battlefield and you can prepare the battlefield for you to to, to make it easier if you want to cheese it you can cheese every more every battle like I'm showing you now you can just move far from the from the engagement and you can create a choke point like here see behind this rock so you can now detach every party member and you can position them you know your archers your mages and your roach to the flank flank and um, the NPC is still engaged they will not attack you they are engaged in the conversation with your main character and now your main character can end up the conversation and you can you can you know drag him drag him back to the party but before i proceed with this handy little trick uh, i will ask you if you are new to my channel subscribe hit the subscribe button it's for free don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss my big 500 subscriber video uh, the link to the video the video is out so the link will be somewhere here on the screen uh, leave me a comment so you can join the giveaway and hit the like button It takes only a second of your time and it's for free or dislike if you dislike this video Okay, let's do this So as you see guys positioning your party to the choke point and uh, drag the enemies is very helpful Because those enemies will come to you one by one as they spawn on the battlefield And you can just one or two turn kill them one by one but if you want to really enjoy the game really enjoy the tactician combat i will show you how to prepare your battlefield on the beginning so as you see i can freely move my players so i will put my roach that is undead fane and uh, he's undead and he can uh, regen regenerate health on poison so i will put him on a poison environment so he can uh, get the poisonous buff so he can be healed every every turn was really helpful and we're going to engage the mage the mage enemies or the enemies that have low physical armor just remember play by the armor okay kill attack low physical armor with your physical attacks and the low magical attacks with your magical attacks okay i'm going to position my ranger on the elevated spot so he can have nice view and i'm going to put my uh, my sorcerer my sorcerer my wizard close to the spot where the ranger will spawn as as you know guys those you can load those fights so you after you load after you lost the fight you know what kinds of enemies and where do they spawn they will always spawn on the same positions so you can prepare your fights accordingly okay so you now see i position my elemental elemental mage uh, to the spot where i can uh, reach all the uh, ac ac uh, actually whole the whole area and I can prepare area so what I'm going to now I'm going to use I'm going to create the water surface for my ranger summoner that can summon the incarnates on a water surface all my enemies will be fire based so they will have a uh, water uh, their water resistance is minus 50 so basically when I when I summon those incarnates and those totems on the water surface I basically kill everything in a few shots what appears next to them next to them because I will nuke them as you see you can you can uh, put all three totems there but they will not stay because they they, they stay only three uh, three turns and uh, but I've got two totems and one incarnate there all water based so basically that melee skeleton that has a lot of uh, a lot of magic armor is basically dead because I can one shot or two shot him with those with those elements as you see guys those element those enemies are on the same level as me but they are tough as hell they are really tough high armor harm half physical armor hard magic armor and especially a lot a lot of hps so you have to uh, prepare your battle accordingly so now you see i'm going to 
I'm going to proceed proceed with this fight. Fight started, and I'm and uh, who is who is starting at the moment is starting my incarnate. And yes, you see how big damage I did to his magical armor with just one hit. Okay, and we still did not use our totems. The totems are attacking automatically, but in with any any kind with any any party composition, you can prepare your party. Uh, you can prepare the battles uh, before. As you see, uh, he did something I was not expecting. He ported out of the out of the death trap I prepared for him, but it really doesn't doesn't matter because uh, with this water surface I can knock him down really really easily. So now I'm going to uh, use my roach and I'm going to kill this sorcerer because he has really low physical armor. And with this physical armor, I just I'm just using adrenaline and just porting behind him with backstep. And I look at it, look at it. I just literally killed half of his HP and his whole armor with this roach. It's awesome. Just use adrenaline backstep and but don't attack with roach on a on an enemy that has high high armor and with the rest point i use chloroform on the on the on the remaining uh, skeleton to down his magic arm as you see uh, i got crippled with my with my mage but it doesn't really matter because uh, i will i'm standing then on a purpose you can teleport this this uh, skeleton uh, behind somewhere behind the door it's really helpful in most of the fights but not this one because if i port him behind those bars i won't be able to reach him and he will be able to shoot me but feel free use your teleport gloves or use your teleport spell and teleport enemies who are close to you and teleport them out of the off, out of your range it's really helpful but what, what, why I put my mage there? I put him, put him because I have two spells. I can, I can just st stun him with with a freeze. I can freeze him, and then I can uh, blind him with radiate, so that uh, so that the archer is basically uh, CC'd. He CC'd and he cannot do anything on that place. He has to move. Now you see that their wizard is trying something to do something, and my totem are attacking everything else. <laughs> But the target I intend that to, to attack. My ranger is in elevated position, so what I'm going to do now, I I will save my water arrows for the next uh, for the next time I want to uh, want to summon, uh, because the water arrows will create the water uh, water surface. But what I'm going to do, um, I created another 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 uh, totem, and uh, and I'm going to attack attack the the wizard with my remaining with my remaining skill points but before i i buff myself and creating another another totem what you want to do you want to use your range or um, or melee buff on your incarnate it really helps a lot so we are going to attack this this mage as you see not so not so not so good attack and uh, we're going to proceed with the with the melee with the melee melee fighters to finally kill kill this mage. I'm spending. I'm always uh, investing. Uh, I'm always memorizing some of the some of the spells that cost only one point because uh, many times you will you will leave your your turn with only one uh, point left. So it's really good to have something like 45, so you can spend those points on. As you see, I cannot hit, I cannot hit this, uh, uh, I cannot hit him from the far. But I, I casted my ranged, uh, my ranged buff on my incarnate, and I still can attack. And you see, I, I killed a lot of mage armor from this, uh, from this ranger, and he is basically dead. Now I'm going to concentrate with my ranger uh, to this uh, to this wizard, and unfortunately I did not kill him. I did not strike critical, and it was un really unfortunate for my for my roach because he got like nuked at the moment from the ranger from from the enemy ranger, and uh, as you will see in a, in a in a while he will die because the wizard will one shot him afterwards. But I'm continuing to nuke all those. All those weak HPs, and as you see, what, because I'm attacking with magical, with magic spells, I'm totally ignoring his armor. So, again, attack those those enemies who have large amount of physical armor. 
attack them only with magic and, and reverse uh, enemies who has high uh, magical damage attack them only with uh, physical damage so now you see I'm going to finish this, uh, this mage that causes so many problems my, my ranger is down but I will summon him I will summon him in a in a second. It's a really tough fight. You would not believe this, and uh, so you have to be uh, really tactical, and you have to you have to think when to when to uh, retreat, and uh, you have to plan plan up front. Divinity Original Sin is a really good game. Really good game if you love tactical and old school old school RPGs. So now I now I just revived my. Uh, revive my uh, skeleton roach and I'm going to continue with this battle so uh, this is this is it guys this is it I think I showed you everything you need to know to overcome the whole every encounter in this game uh, just uh, just remember plan accordingly plan before the, the fight um, memorize the spells according uh, to the enemies you will encounter them you can chase them by lure them to your uh, traps to your traps or you can uh, keep the NPC engaged in conversation so you can uh, divide and and you can prepare the battlefield uh, for every engagement so this is I hope this handy little trick will help you to encounter to win every encounter on a tactician mode in Divinity Original Sin 2. This game really deserves a shot from you because it's a really good game. Alright guys, so uh, this is it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video, dislike if you dislike the video. Leave me a comment um, and hit the bell button. Don't forget uh, my 500, 500 giveaway video is uh, is uh, on YouTube now. I released him a few few hours ago, so don't forget to to watch it uh, so you don't miss the opportunity to win a free games in a in a few days. And that's it. As always, have a good one. Bye bye.
Open your eyes and see